Yo, 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 it's Crazy Al Kane, sugarcane.com, C-A-C-T-V, back again with another Bike of the Day feature. Yeah, so this is episode five, episode five. So I got pretty much everything established with the way the format of this thing is going to work out. But I know y'all probably want me to speed up the process of getting to the bike that I'm featuring for the bike of the day so we're going to speed that up yeah! but before i go into today's featured bike gotta always give a shout out to corrosive clothing team corrosive mike wicken for hooking me up with this hat i'm going to be giving out a corrosive hat a bunch of swag for the bike of the month yeah! i will be announcing bike of the month this friday september 4th so make sure y'all keep rating these bikes you have a whole week to get your ratings in for all the bikes that were featured in August 2020 for Bike of the Month. And now, and now for today's Bike of the Day feature, feature. it is, it is. A uh -huh. Chase, Chase RSP 4.0 Pro Cruiser. Yeah. That's right, this one was sent in from my friend Todd K. I know him from my very, 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 very early, early beginning days in BMX racing. He's one of the first friends I made in BMX racing back down in Newbridge Road, BMX. And he's now a track operator at Omaha BMX. So he's doing his thing and he's racing on a Chase RSP 4.0, one of the best BMX racing bikes in the game. This bike is just a super solid BMX racer. It's got that polished colorway with the blue highlights on the rims, on the stem. So this bike is nicely color coordinated. It's got that coordination going on with the colors. So what Todd said is what he looks for in components is good, solid quality and construction and especially performance. He's not looking for the lightest parts. He's looking for the best performance that he can get. He said looks is always a plus, but he's all about performance first. Since he races class and cruises as much as he can, he wants to make sure that the parts match and the bikes feel exactly the same. So when he jumps from one to the other, it feels like the same bike. It's not easy to get that formula of having your 24 and your 20 feel very similar, but it's definitely achievable. All right, let's talk about these parts we got here. Now, of course, you already know it's a Chase RSP 4.0 aluminum Pro Cruiser frame. He's rocking those box handlebars with the 5.5 inch rise. He's got a black Renin 41 tooth front chain ring. He's got those infamous Shimano DXR cranks on there. 11 BB86 press fit bottom bracket. For pedals, he's rocking Spank Uzis, a Renin 18 tooth rear cog, blue Sun Envy hoops or rims if you people don't know what hoops are. Todd has Onyx hubs. He's also rocking Tioga power block tires, 24 by 1.75 on the front and 24 by 1.6 in the rear. He's also rocking the infamous Box X5 carbon forks, 45 millimeter long, 11 overbite stem with that beefy 31.8 clamp. He also has Troy Lee ODI lock on grips, says he's always trying new grips when the current ones wear out. 11 carbon seat posts, 11 seat clamp, 11 saddle, 11 tapered headset, box genius brake lever, box pro V brakes and pads, and last but not least, for his inner tubes, he's rocking turbo light tubes. He said the turbo lights are half the weight of the standard rubber tubes, which creates less rotational weight. So he's experimenting with these to see how they feel. So here's something that I haven't done yet on the bike of the day feature, is I haven't done actual specs of the frames. So I think today I'm gonna do frame specs. Yeah! So the Chase RSP 4.0 Pro Cruiser has a 21.25 top tube. It has a 15.25 chainstay it's got a 73 degree head tube angle the head tube is 4.7 inches with a 1 and 1 8 on the top and 1.5 on the bottom a 69.5 degree seat tube angle bottom bracket height is 12 inches bottom bracket style is a press fit it's not threaded like a euro bottom bracket is the press fit bb86 style the dropout on this frame is enclosed plated so that means you just can't slide your back wheel on there and the frame weighs three pounds and 9.64 ounces all right so here's the current rating for the rsp 4.0 cruiser it's got 18 volts it's got an 8.91 rating overall colorway is an 8.18 Overall originality is 8.28, overall parts is a 9.32, and overall style is a 9.23. All that stuff combined makes the 8.91 total rating score. So if you agree or disagree with those ratings, make sure you come back to sugarcane.com, rate that bike. The more people that rate on the bike, the more the bike will fluctuate on the chart. You can see different people's ratings. This person gave 
this bike a 10 you can check to say you like it or give them a thumbs down to say you don't like the rating and when you scroll all the way down you will see the sliders where you can actually leave your rating you can rate between 0 and 10 and you can get very micro with it if you want to decimal point style to let people know how you feel about this bike also on every page on sugarcane.com it also tells you how to submit your bike then you scroll down a little bit more and you have these reaction emojis where you can actually just have some fun and show people how you feel about the bike via the reaction emojis these emojis have nothing to do with the actual ratings that you're gonna do above on the slider but this is just a fun way to interact with the website I got two wax come on now that bike is not whack alright so that's it today's bike of the day feature a Chase RSP 4.0 you got to see the parts list you got to see the pictures and I even added the specs of the frame so you know what's going on with that so with all that knowledge all that information I need you guys to come back to the website sugarcane.com and rate this bike rate the color originality parts and overall style links to the page where you can go and rate this bike is right down in the description so please come back to the site and rate this bike I have a friendly monthly competition that I do where I have all the bikes that are featured for one particular month I have a friendly competition where the number one rated bike the top rated bike winds up winning bike of the month so today is the last day of the month but what I like to do is I like to reveal the bike of the month on a Friday so this Friday September 4th we're gonna be revealing who the number one bike is so if you wanted to submit your bike to bike of the day I also have that information in the descriptions you can go in there and find out all the information you need to know to submit your bike but real quick I'll tell you what I need is a bunch of good pictures of your bike high-res pictures of your bike a full parts list the inspiration for your build and I just need you to email it to me to sugarcanecom at gmail.com that's sugarcanecom at gmail.com don't send me one picture of your bike send me multiple pictures of your bike alright I need, I need full shots of your bike also close up of the parts so when we do these descriptions and I'm showing the pictures like I did in this episode we can actually see all the different parts of your bike and people can come back and give you a, an unbiased rating alright so all you guys watching here on YouTube Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the episode. Let me know what you think about the bike. If you like the bike, if you don't like the bike, if there's something you would have done different to the build of the frame. Um, if you also have a bike, do you think yours is better than the bike that you just seen? And if so, it don't matter if you don't submit it. So make sure you submit your bike, all right? I, don't, I, can't, I can't stress that enough. Please submit your bike. As long as it's not 100% stock. Like if it's no customization done to your bike at all, I'm not trying to post that up. But if your bike has any kind of customization on it, like say you got a, a stock bike but you put different color wheels on it. Um, if you got a stock bike but you have different color handlebars or you, or you change the seat or you know change the cranks or something like that. And the bike looks fresh and you got some good pictures, send it to me. Say you have an all stock bike but you got a custom paint job on it. That works fine too, so send that in. So I also urge you guys to leave comments on sugarcane.com. That helps me out as well. It helps the site grow helps this whole movement grow definitely do that as well it takes a lot of work to put these episodes together and edit them chop them up and then also do the articles and featuring the bikes and taking the emails in and all that stuff it takes a lot of work so any kind of feedback you guys give me on YouTube and also on sugarcane.com is always deeply appreciated and speaking of that let's go to the recent comments that I got so I got a couple comments on the last episode where we had that speed code VLOX feature Commissioner Deeds my dude Nigel Cummins left a comment and Dominic Arena left a comment and uh, gave props to the bike and also props to the show and stuff like that keep those comments coming y'all really appreciate that alright so that's it that's today's bike of the day remember if you have a bike that you want to submit please submit them please send me some good bikes I see so many good bikes on Instagram so many good bikes on Facebook and the different group pages I need y'all to send them to me so we can feature them on sugarcane.com and give them some major props and let people know what kind of bikes you guys got, all right? So once again, shout out to Corrosive Clothing, Team Corrosive, Mike Wicken. Shout out to my dude Q, Spicy Gear Bike Life. Always doing his thing, so I rocking his shirt. All right, so that's enough looking at bikes and talking about bikes. I need y'all to go outside and go ride your bike, all right? And with that said, back to you, Billy.